Welcome to Every Seal Count, a short video highlighting the photo ID work of the Cornwall Seal Group. Chapter 1. The Seal Survey Twice a week, Sue Sayer and Kate Hockley head to their study site to observe the seals. It's Kate's job to record the time, weather and sea conditions, as well as counting the number of seals both on the land and in the sea. Other important factors about the haul out, such as the age and sex of the seals, the number of entangled and tagged seals are also documented as well as the number of seals that may be disturbed into the sea and the cause of that disturbance. Setting up a tripod with a telescope is a great way to look at the IDs of recognisable seals down on the beach. Whilst Kate is busy doing all of that, it's Sue's job to take photos of every seal from different viewpoints, including any entangled, tagged or injured seals. Oh, the pup's going in the water. Oh, and the other female coming out now, Kate, is Scream, which is the Scream. pup's mum. Scream, ah, that's the pup's mum. Looks like the, the so which pups mum though? That's the yeah. question. Well, this one going in the water, I would have said. Yeah, the one nearest to. Yeah, 2007 O's. After identifying Scream, it wasn't long before she found her pup on the beach down by the shoreline. With all the photos and data gathered, it's time for Sue and Kate to head back to the office to process the images. Chapter 2. Identifying seals through photo ID. Now that Sue and Kate are back at the Cornwall Seal Group's head office, it's time to download all of the survey images onto the computer. Okay, they're just copying across. Now that all of the images have been downloaded, it's time to put them into an album. So these are the photos that we took today and this is the album that I'm going to create for today. Um, this seal um, was on the beach and uh, I'm just going to snip a crop of that seal and put it onto a new slide for the day and then I'm going to try and find the match in the catalogue. Now I'm thinking that I can see a, a diamond pattern on its neck so I'm going to do a search for diamond. When adding a new seal to the catalogue, look for obvious shapes in the fur pattern, like a diamond or a square. These are then typed as keywords in the PowerPoint file. We have uh, catalogues for seals that are light and spotty and catalogues for seals that are darker and plainer. And this is one called Square Diamond by the looks of it. So hopefully you can see when I put it here, I'm going to put the catalogue photo with a red border around the outside so we know which is the catalogue and which was taken today. And hopefully you can see that there's a diamond pattern here with a curvy pattern behind it. So, and then these bits here match up. We'll have to confirm those later, so I'll carry on and get on to the next photo. The next time you see a seal with a square diamond in its fur pattern, use the find function to use the word search for a short list of seals with square diamonds in their fur pattern. This is Rocket. And can you see he's got an interesting scar look quite low down on his body. We're not quite sure what this is, but these patterns here match. And then you can see the neck pattern matches as well. Okay, so we have a very strict um, protocol for confirming a photo ID match. We have to have five exact pattern matches in the same relative positions on the seal, preferably on both sides. Uh, and we have to uh, have that confirmed with two uh, experienced photo ID people. And if either of us uh, think that there isn't a match with the seal, then we don't take it as a match and we discard it as an ID. And then this is the mum of the pup. She's got a really clear yeah. pattern. Person there yeah. with a sort of elongated diamond below. Uh, the round bit above and the long thing there. So oh, at least yeah, and five. she's also got the... Nose. Yeah, no things so yeah. at least five. Okay, okay. So yeah, with that, that one. Yeah, that's good. Chapter three: Evidence for action. Things that we've learnt um, from photo ID from our grey seals are that grey seals travel around the Celtic Sea. So seals in Cornwall have also been seen in Wales, France, and Ireland, uh, Devon, and Dorset. So they travel uh, long distances. 
Um, they do so with seasonally repeated patterns. So we have a seal that would spend, um, say, October in Scoma, come back to West Cornwall in November and be round on the south coast in January and do that repeatedly and did it so for two different years. We think that some males and females actually have a preference for each other and turn up year after year to mate with each other. So we have an adult male called uh, Whiteback Sea who has been seen at five different locations in Cornwall. You can see they're colour coded. This is his breeding site and he turned up to uh, mate with Ghost uh, between 2011 and 2015. In contrast, this is her sightings pattern. She only returns to this site to pup and she will have mated with DP2 between 2011 and 2015. Another thing that Photo ID has been valuable for has been validating the protocols that British Divers Marine Life Rescue have and the Cornish Seal Sanctuary for rescue, rehab and release. So we know that, uh, for example, entangled animals that we've rescued have recovered very quickly. Uh, Lucky Bunting uh, is one example of a seal that we rescued from this net, cut free and released straight back into the wild. We know from Photo ID that they've survived. In fact, incredibly, just 55 days after rescue, this seal had fully recovered and healed its wound, and uh, six months later, even looked fat and fit at a completely different site up on the north coast. Uh, not only seals that are immediately released are successful, um, we also have seals that we know have gone into Greek as white coat pups themselves that have been uh, rehabbed fully and released back into the wild six years later they've been known to have their own pups, um, taking the whole thing full circle. Chapter 4, Getting Started. Photo ID is a really powerful research tool. It's completely doable, it's child's play, it's as simple as matching patterns. You just need to get started. But please, if you're going to get started, ask for help. I made a lot of mistakes along the way and I would do it differently if I was starting again. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. If you would like more information to get started, email me. My email address is sue at cornwallsealgroup.co.uk. We have information on our website www.cornwallsealgroup.co.uk. We're here to help and we want everyone to be doing photo ID so you can learn more about your individual seals. Every seal counts.